Well, the youngsters were looking at home, at, uh, at, at pool tables, uh, particularly in pubs and places like that, and I decided to make one for the young fellow, which proved very good. And then I decided to have a feasibility report with the IDA and the home market of snooker tables, which I found out was immense, and there was no... Uh, the, the importation into this country was something fierce altogether after them over 2,000 year come in with no, home, with no one in the home market making them. So I decided to go into them myself. Have you actually sold any of these tables so far? Yes, at Christmas time we sold uh, what we made in them. Now, how would they compare with the imported product? Why should people buy yours? Are you cheaper or do you claim you're better? Well, we're at roughly around the same price going to VAT and that sort of thing. Uh, we, we are the same price as them coming in, but we have a better quality snooker tail by far than the ones coming in. We have a bigger bar and larger bar. Now, having won this competition, what's the next step? What benefit do you get from the competition? Uh, I will be applying to the IDA for a capital grant, and we would then start from there with a bigger factory and so on, etc. Do you think you could actually employ people then to produce snooker tables here? Yes, I could, yes. I could employ at least 20, 30 people. Either. But a lot of people starting up in business, Pat O'Connor, say they're frustrated by the taxes, the very vat you yeah. mentioned. Do you really think you yeah. can make a success of it that people will buy your table? They will because it's the same as the imports coming in. They, they have the same price.